discuss about what we studied till now we studied that there's a preprocessor the pre functionality of preprocessor is that it expands the shorthand which are called as macros in the source language statement and collect all the modules of the source program okay and even see the line number is also taken care by macros okay let me tell you step by step what do i mean by the line numbers assuming that there's a program like this uh, hash define n as 5 there's a main function and we are taking integer a with size n okay we are having a program like this and this is the line number one line number two and this is line number three we can have multiple lines like this now when we give this program to a preprocessor first of all preprocessor is going to resolve all these hash defined statements that means wherever there's a n in the program it is going to replace all the n's with the value of 5 secondly it is going to remove all the new line characters that means from here to here there's a new line 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 it is going to remove all the new line characters <coughs> that means it is going to make the entire program in one single line okay but after making the one single line you see sometimes you get some compilation error right there are two types of error there's a runtime error there's a compile type error compile time error is when you have some syntactical error and that syntactical error is generally given in case of line numbers right and during runtime also sometimes uh, you give errors in with the with the line numbers and you see even if you give the program in one single line to the compiler then compiler reads it compiler does not require the program in multiple lines but if the compiler does not have the program in the multiple lines then how does the compiler is supposed to tell you that there's a proper error in this particular line or there's an error in any particular line that complete thing is taken care by the processor a preprocessor which tells that uh, this particular line is there it is going to maintain the line numbers also even if it is removing this uh, new line characters it is maintaining the line numbers it will tell that there's an error in this particular line now there's an assembler <coughs> so assembler translates the assembly language program into relocatable machine code that we already discussed there's a linker it allows us to make a single program from several files of relocatable machine code that means if there's a functional function which is there maybe it is the header file stdio.h uh, there are multiple functions here. Maybe there's a stdlib.h and this is the main function which we already created. So it is going to link all these, all of them together, so that if we call some function from this module, we will be able to use that functionality. Or you can say it is going to resolve the addresses of this linked modules. Like we have a printf statement we call here that it is going to resolve the linked module from this uh, you know, file. Now there's a loader and when I'm saying the loader, the process of taking a relocatable machine code and loading it to the memory or can say altering the relocatable machine code, placing the alternated instruction data in the memory at proper place is called as loading or uh, that is that is done by the loader. That means if there's a secondary memory and there's a program here which is having uh, no relative addresses. So you are going to relocate this one into the main memory and in this main memory you are going to you know uh, give it to a loader that means this loader is going to give the exact absolute addresses to these instructions okay that is done by the loader correct so this is uh, the entire process now here you see that in case of compiler there's a compilation process this compilation process uh, is divided into specific parts number one is analysis part second one is the synthesis part when i'm saying analysis part that means we are going to divide the source program into tokens then we will see what is a token uh, in the later videos don't worry don't uh, feel like you are not understanding this one even if you feel uh, face any issues with these lines we are going to take each every single line separately and there's a chapter based on in this complete series of videos there's a chapter based on these every single line here okay all these lines are actually representing a chapter separately into this entire course so see when i'm saying analysis part now analysis part first of all we are going to divide the entire program into tokens and then 
uh, we are going to group the tokens into syntactic structure that is done by the syntax analyzer there are multiple uh, parts um, in a compiler so you can see in the compiler there are multiple parts number one number is a lexical analyzer lexical analyzer second one is a syntax analyzer syntax analyzer third one is semantic analyzer semantic analyzer fourth one is intermediate code generator intermediate code generator fifth one is a code optimizer code optimizer and fourth one is a target code generation now when i'm saying divide the source program to tokens this is done by the lexical analyzer that we will see what is a lexical analyzer and how do you divide it to to token and what are tokens and then we group the tokens into syntactic structures that is done by the syntax analyzer then we verify the syntax by using the semantic analyzer then we generate the intermediate code by using the intermediate code generator and then we optimize the code by using the code optimizer okay so performance of machine code is optimized now this part is optional this part is optional in the same way we have syntax synthesis part in this synthesis part we are going to generate the target code this target code is uh, given by uh, the assembler or you can say this is assembler is going to give you the target code and then you are again you can again optimize this target code and this is done in the back end so you can say the entire process is divided into two parts number one is the front end second one is the back end okay so after this uh, you know, videos i'm also going to upload these presentations uh, you can take a direct mint out of these presentations or uh, you can have you no know, this is i'm going to write them into a pdf file maybe so you can uh, use it for further future references for short term notes so this, these are a kind of a short notes which is going to save a lot of time for you now see the new structure which i uh, you know analyzed is i got some suggestions from some of you and what i did is uh, with every video i'm to i'm going to give you a pdf file and pdf file will be having all the notes which we discussed in this video right and now this is going to save a lot of time whatever topics we could have covered in one hour in video i'm going to cover the entire topics within 15 to 20 minutes which is going to save a lot of time for you and even with this pdf file you will be able to take a direct print out of this pdf file or you will be able to use this pdf file for future references so that you don't have to make notes so whatever i'm going to teach you just focus on on this focus on the video uh, with this with every video in the next coming you know in all ongoing or the next future chapters like next future le chapter lectures uh, take a print out of these pdf files take a print out of video uh, these files and when you are watching the video keep them with you as a notes and you can write your short notes on these pdf files okay so that will be a lot better for us to remember now uh, you know there are different phases of compile that i know that we discussed there is a lexical analyzer there is a syntax analyzer there is a semantic analyzer intermediate code generator machine indi uh, independent code optimization target code generator machine dependent code optimization these are seven chapters actually this all these are actually seven chapters here these 1 to 5 they act as a analysis part that means you are going to analyze the program and uh, from 6 to 7 there is a synthesis part that means you are going to synthesize the programs now when i'm saying lexical analyzer that means the responsibility of lexical analyzer is it is going to scan the program line by line and word by word from left to right okay that we will see don't worry how it does it then we have syntax analyzer so syntax analyzer acts as a parser then we have semantic analyzer which acts as a type checker then we have intermediate code generator and then we have machine code optimization so don't worry let us look at this in the next part instead of uh, giving a brief introduction let me uh, explain each and every step one by one and uh, in detail okay